Right now we're going to do a step by step build of this circuit here and this circuit's designed to light an LED when you push down the push button but it also charges a capacitor so that when you let go of the button the capacitor powers the LED for a little while so instead of just turning off instantly the LED will fade away. So to begin with we're going to start with the uh, capacitor and the resistor I'll show you how we do that on the breadboard so we begin with the push button these push buttons that I have the pins are a little bit bigger than component pins so they kinda stretch the holes on this board so I keep these uh, bigger pin components on this board so we're gonna start here with this we're gonna attach it to the positive and now we have it connected to positive with this jumper up here. Now, one thing to remember with these switches is that they're already connected on top and they're already connected on bottom. They're separated from top to bottom. And so, if I plug something else on this side, it'll already be attached to the positive. And so, we're going to go down one row and we're going to go on this side because we're going to work our way to negative over here. And here is a 470 ohm resistor and that's going to protect the capacitor and the rest of the circuit from the uh, current that the battery can provide. And now I insert the capacitor. This is an electrolytic capacitor so it needs to be put in the right way. The blank side here, this is a 470 microfarad capacitor. The blank side is the positive side that comes to the resistor because remember that's coming from the positive side of the circuit and now the negative side I just put directly into the negative power rail that way this side can never be uh, more positive because it's directly into the negative now the LED has to be inserted the proper way for it to light up if you put it in backwards it blocks current so we want the longer lead the anode towards the positive side and as I said the resistor brings the positive side so we put the longer lead towards this resistor and the shorter lead down below and now before applying power we attach the last resistor that goes from the short lead of the LED the cathode to the negative power rail so that'll let it light up when we push the button but that will also charge the capacitor and then when we let go of the button then the capacitor will discharge through there so this is protecting the LED both when the button is pushed and when it's just on capacitor now I quickly want to mention this capacitor was charged when I put this circuit together earlier the LED lit up so that's something to be aware of these can hold a charge for a long time I don't know when the last time was I used it and this can hold up to 50 volts so it's a good idea not to touch the leads and to uh, discharge the capacitor before uh, through a resistor before you use them. So before we demonstrate the circuit I just want to go over this again we got the battery the positive side to switch through the resistor to the capacitor the negative is directly to ground and then from the capacitor and the resistor the positive comes to the anode of the LED the cathode of the LED goes to the protective resistor which also goes to ground and with the 9 volt battery you can see that it has a slightly softer startup but it definitely fades away very slowly it would just turn right off without the uh, capacitor so now you can use different value resistors and capacitors if you want I like the uh, 470 ohm resistor to protect the capacitor and LED I tried higher value ones they didn't really seem to make much difference other than to make the LED dimmer as you're charging it uh, the capacitor though you could use a higher value to keep it lit longer and uh, this resistor a higher value resistor will keep it lit longer but it won't be as bright 